Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to one of our video casts and podcasts by UNIVRM.com. Today is one of our economy articles about the ongoing currency war. The problem with writing economy articles, making them understandable to average readers, Due to the complicated nature of global economics, this is good news for those with a lot of money, and in case you have not noticed, they don't care if you have any money or not, and prefer you remain in the ignorance is bliss class. War involving you is underway, although without guns blazing, bombs dropping, and tanks rolling down the street, the war is silent. It is not silent, but the war hidden by political noise, so the fact your home is worth nothing or less than nothing, many people unemployed, your savings dwindling and not making money due to almost 0% interest rates, and the coming restructuring of health care and retirement resources removed seems like it is not war. Take the exact same results listed above, and if they had been done at the point of a gun, which they are, but being brainwashed by doublespeak, so unable to see the guns used to steal from you, then civil unrest, to say the least, will create revolution. Conspiracy theories flourish, and most people think any other person ever mentioning conspiracies crazy, which may or may not be true, but it does create an atmosphere where anything dismissed as rubbish by those warring against you. Media outlets feed what you read, hear, and see. The currency war fought on many fronts. Here are a few events from the war happening and will happen next. At a three-day conference in Indian Springs, sponsored by the allegedly religious right-wing conservative Cook Brothers, 300-plus multimillionaires and billionaires gathered for one purpose. Initially, $100 $100 million pledged to defeat President Obama by the Cook brothers themselves, with their guests pledging up to $1 billion for the same purpose. The change to allow corporations to act as people and form super PACs allows them to do this quite easily. The U.S. Treasury Advisory Borrowing Committee urges the end to zero bound and demand demanded issuance of negative yield bonds and savings accounts. We understand most people do not understand the preceding sentence. To put it in terms you may understand, this is a stealth bomber about to drop bombs in the currency war. In simple words, banks will no longer pay you interest but deduct money from your account for putting it in the bank. The reason given for this action? It was broadly agreed that flooring interest rates at zero or capping issuance proceeds at par was prohibiting proper market function. The committee unanimously recommended the Treasury Department allow for negative yield auction results as soon as logistically possible. Economy articles hard to understand, you rhetorically ask, as the unseen currency war rages around you hidden by religion, politics, and propaganda. The Treasury Department wants the Federal Reserve to give money to banks and then let banks charge you for the difference. They lend one dollar, the bank has to pay back 98 cents, and guess who makes up the difference? Theoretically, the people are the government. You make up the difference by the banks charging you for keeping your money. In currency wars, sophisticated investors, banks, billionaires, and politicians understand that currency, paper money, is not magical, merely printed paper. Germany recently announced their central bank can no longer continue to bail out Europe. They own most of the debt. In effect, a speculative attack on on the other country's debt, or loans, can happen in one day as everyone dumps the debt of the other countries and puts the currency in German banks. Who own it anyway? Confused? Germany has taken over the Eurozone and Greece, Spain, Portugal, Ireland, Belgium, and to a degree France now owned by Germany who has won the currency war in Europe. The effect will be massive deflation in those countries who will have to exit the Eurozone, followed by hyperinflation. 
The real superpower is not China, but Germany. The economies of the other countries mentioned crushed as continuing austerity measures shoved down their throats. Welcome to the new neo-feudal system orchestrated by the U.S. and German banks and billionaires who don't really care about currency, monopoly money, but own gold, oil, copper, and other hard assets. Throughout history, currencies come and go, but the true source of wealth has and never will be magic paper, monopoly money, and all other appropriate terms to describe currency. Remember the old adage, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer? To use an American phrase, in the global currency war, you ain't seen nothing yet. This has been Copyright 2012, UNIVRM.com, trademarked, all rights reserved. At UNIVRM.com, we create original content with humor and satire on current event news, opinion articles, economy articles, science current events, and our science fiction book series titled Change Hope. As an advertisement, please remember UNIVRM.com offering our science fiction book series Change Hope released as a series on a chapter and book-by-book -book basis like the old Amazing Stories magazine. Change Hope, available in all ebook formats and as an audiobook, you can purchase by going to www.univrm.com forward slash downloads forward slash. You can listen to this article via podcast at the iTunes store by subscribing to univrm.com or read it on Facebook at the univrm.com channel. You can also listen or subscribe to our articles via videocast or podcast on YouTube on the UNIVRM channel. This has been a videocast and podcast by UNIVRM.com and we look forward to bringing you more articles in future.